first you have to take and flip the tail over and break off the spines and flip it back over using scissors cut the carapace and the meat all the way through to the back of the tail and that will butterfly the shrimp you take the meat using your thumb pull it right out you take the pull it all the way up separating it from the tail keep the keep the carapace because that's what you'll cook it in trim off the meat this is the pink colored portion if you trim it it'll make it a little bit more tender as you're eating it Take the meat, put it back in the carapace, and then you're going to put it into the aluminum pan, which you'll cook it in. Again, now repeat again. Break the spines with your thumb, and butterfly it by cutting the carapace. Separate the meat. Again, trim off the new carapace that's growing. After you've trimmed that out, put it back in the carapace and put it back into the pan. Sometimes you need to cut a little bit of the meat so it sits back into the pan a little bit better, butterflies into there. After you have trimmed them up and put it back in, cover the pan, put it in the fridge as you begin to prepare the butter and garlic. I used soft butter and garlic. Take the butter, a generous portion. Put it in a bowl. Take the garlic, put it right into the butter, and then just mix it together.
After it's been mixed, you take the lobsters out of the free after the refrigerator. Take your butter mixture, just a big clump, put it on top of each. Of the tails. Try to spread it as evenly as possible. I know it seems like a lot of butter, but this is the only butter that you'll need to put on it. You won't need to melt it and dip. Spread it out to as evenly as you can. You cover the lobsters back up, put it back in the refrigerator until the grill is ready. After you turn the grill on, on the medium, about 100 degrees, the pan on. As you'll see here, there's four tails here in a pretty small pan, therefore it'll require a little bit longer cooking time. As the tails, after the tails have had a chance to bake some, or if you want to cook them a little bit faster, you can take the tails and put them directly on the grill. Looking to cook the lobsters until the meat is completely white. Be careful not to overcook the tails, which will make them chewy. But better to overcook than under. As the edge of the tails look to get nice and white, and it can take anywhere from 10 to 17 minutes, depending upon how hot you have the grill. And you take them and flip them over. Which will allow the process to continue to cook, making sure that the meat is thoroughly cooked. 